I got a Craigslist haul today. I mean, it's not Baby Cat. Although, she seems to have taken a liking to it. I've got a Hover Freight solar panel set I got off Craigslist, which I'm going to assemble today and uh, start improving the power levels in my house. If Baby Cat will let me get in there. Do you mind? Huh? So this is an old school system. I'm not sure how much life is left in it because it's uh, it's the old style. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. There's a solar panel. The guy neatly put it back in the box. The original packaging. He said he only used it for a short time and then put it back in the box. And uh, I intend to put this together tonight. So that I can start using it. No, baby cat. You stay off that. So we've got here some metal frame panels. These are uh, more robust than the newer versions that they sell. I'm thinking this is quite an older setup because of the metal frame. But that's an old Harbor Freight solar panel. It's a, uh, it's a 15 watt panel with serious metal framing so I can mount that properly if I want to one day so let me see it's got screw terminals that's right that goes to the charge controller like that uh, actually no that's separate yeah that's different than the, the systems the way they make them now alright well I'm gonna pull all the panels out first and we'll start working on the, the framing after that I'm gonna get this big box out of here when I'm done. Oh, baby cat is making a mess of things. Uh, she wanted to get involved in that box. Felix is not far behind her. So I'm gonna unpack all three panels. And then get them over out of the way, and then I'll come back to the electronics and the framing, and we'll get everything put together here tonight so I can hook it up tomorrow. I actually showed you the disappearing cat's tail going into the box. I've got the solar panels out, and I've got the box that holds the framework and brackets out, and the packaging I put outside for now. And I'm going to start to put this together and hoping that all the screws are there. I did not check for the screws. I'm really hoping he put them all together so I have all the original screws for this. Um, if not, I'm going to have to rig up something, uh, maybe 2x4 framing or something. But thinking about putting these on, on top of the shed roof facing south for best performance. So we'll see how it goes with the once I open up this box here. This is an entirely different setup. No, you scared yourself, didn't you? Totally different setup from the original or from the newer systems. Uh, there's a bottom bracket, which just slides in here. Oh, baby cat, you can't get in here. Uh, well, she is not making this easy. This. Oh, that can't be it. What holds it together? That can't be right. What holds all this together? Uh, 
That slips on there and there's no tools involved. That's weird. Is that it? And then the panels go on there and slip on. Doesn't seem like very much. It's also not a very high bracket on this type of this old school panel. So these slip in. Boy, it's a toolless setup. It's just a toolless setup. These slip in. Everything slips into place. That one's in there. clips on like that well I can do that outdoors tomorrow then putting them together it'll be too awkward to do it right here right now that's just gonna be a toolless slip together setup well that one will be easy well not much to that that's ready to go up on the roof that that has mounting um, screws on the frame that's designed to go up on a roof that's a heavy duty heavy duty metal construction so I'm gonna probably take that out and set up a 2x4 frame an A-frame with 2x4s to face that into the sunlight on top of the shed huh that's just too simple well, that one's done. Now I got another one outside that I got on Discount at Harbor Freight a few weeks back and uh, never put together. And now's the time to do it, so I'll be bringing that in now, too. This is an old school system right here. Now there's a framework of a new solar panel set from Harbor Freight. This is the stuff I'm familiar with. The uh, The plastic stuff. So we've got see the solar panels mount onto these. That's an end cap. Um, sorry, the solar panel goes on there. I don't know why the instructions must be on the box. Okay, there's the two back back legs supporting frames there's a metal cap okay there's the ends and the two legs yep that goes into there very simple square frame set up. The problem with this type, from my memory, is that the screws are not stainless. They will rust. Uh, very simple setup. There's PVC pipes. And then the two legs, which need to go in. And then you have your frame. Oops. Like that. The screws is not uh, very sturdy, it's very flimsy. But I'll be putting them in in a minute here. And there's your frame. Of course, they're flimsy at best anyway, once you put it together. I know mine is really flimsy out there, my old one. So, I got an awesome bargain on this kit here at Harbor Freight. It was uh, clearance, I can't remember why, but I'll put those screws in this frame, and uh, then Tomorrow I can just pop those panels on there because it's real easy to pop the panels on. 
and I'll do that outside in the daylight as well. And there's another setup. This is a very simple setup. Just has a long screw with a wing nut. And all you do is you line these holes up in the framing. Easier said than done in this case. There we go. Put the wing nut on. They're cheap junk, so they cross thread easy. Oh yeah. The problem. They're such cheap garbage screws. I wouldn't want to do this in a hurry. I think it's designed with wing nuts for camping and stuff, but so you can take them with you. But it's not nice. It's not easy. So anyway, I'm going to put all these wing nuts in. Well, there's a Harbor Freight solar panel frame. I'll finish that up outside in the daylight tomorrow and put the solar panels on it and then I'll rig up my wiring and I'll have more sun, uh, solar power in the tiny house on wheels. Well, I went ahead and finished the solar panel assembly out here and set it up next to the big boys. So that's the brand new solar panel set hooked up next to Big Brother there. And then I ran the wires over into the tiny house shed. And I plugged in the charge controller to my battery bank, main plus and minus, and I got light. I hooked up the the light to the uh, to the thing and it works so let me shut off my headlamp look at that we have light in the shed so pretty nice I can see very well in here now very well actually and uh, I've got my back to the motion sensing light so you don't see that right now so very good very very good I don't like that you have to there's no switch on that light I don't like the fact that there's no switch in them. You have to unplug it or flip the main power switch, which I don't like to do either. So, there it is. There, the motion sensing light just went. Oops, I moved again. Anyway, so, um, good going. Now I've got the other set. I need to look at the specs on this because it says 45 watt solar kit, but the charge controller itself I do believe can handle a little bit more than the single 45 watt um, uh, panel set so I have to look and I'm wondering because that says nominal battery output voltage I'm wondering if that's going to even going to function when the main charge controller is pumping power out here because the main one goes up above 13 and a half and that says nominal battery output voltage 13.5 but I only just did that for now, so I don't have to run wires inside the tiny house tonight in the dark. And tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be rainy all day, and the monocrystalline solar panels produce power even in rainy days. And that'll be good. So I uh, will probably just go ahead and hook up the second set as well. If I can find my hub, I have a solar panel hub, but after the clean out, the friends helping the other day, I'm not quite sure where it went. So if I can find the hub, the Harbor Freight hub, then I'll hook up the other set of solar panels as well and get that going on here and I'll at least have 100 watts coming in tomorrow.